What is up YouTube? Thank you for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Estelle and today I'm gonna show y'all what I got for my birthday. So my birthday was on December 3rd and Tan invited a few of our close friends to dinner and brunch the next day and I am just so so thankful to have someone that loves me and shows love to me every single day and gives me the world like oh sorry look at baby girl she just woke up <laughs> She's underneath her blanket. Anyway, so I am very, very thankful to have someone that is so loving towards me and gives me anything and everything that I ever wanted, uh, whether it is materialistic or if it's just a simple love or hug, loving some hugging. <laughs> anyway, where are you going? Where are you going? She doesn't want to hear me talk. I think I'm talking way too much for her. Good night, night, baby. Good night, night. Night, night. I just made the bed. Sorry, I was literally rudely interrupted. Anyway, so each of my good friends that came to dinner actually gave me a present. I didn't expect anything. I actually made them goodie bags and a custom card just to thank them for coming to my birthday dinner because it means so much to me. Anyway, um... I'm just gonna go ahead and start. So my best friend and her boyfriend bought me this right here. Let me move this chair. They bought me a burrito blanket. Like how cool is that? Look at this. I could literally wrap myself up in this burrito blanket. <laughs> I'm so, so happy that they got me this because you cannot have enough blankets. Let me sit back down with my blanket on my lap. So when we got home, this was the first thing Tan opened and didn't let go of it. So today I get to have it for this video. It is so soft and look at the inside. It's all fuzzy and fluffy. Sky actually tries to lick it all the time, which she doesn't even care anymore. Like we don't even care anymore. She licks everything. She's a dog. She's our baby. So this here is the blanket. I get to wrap myself up. It all cozy and warm. Thank you Kimmy and Kayla. They also got me uh, a league gift card and if y'all aren't on this yet, y'all need to be on this. So my best friend recently opened a merch shop. A merch shop with her merch. Look at that onion gang. Uh, hello. I will link her Twitch down below. But please, please, please support her because she has worked so hard her whole life and I am just so proud of her and <laughs> I'm about to cry. Um, but she is the most deserving person I know. Um, and I am just honestly so, so proud of her and how far she's come in life and I can't wait to see the next chapter she has for herself and for Caleb and you know, like it's great to see your friends succeed. Like that's all I ever wanted for her and look at this this is so cute she made this like how cool is that she made this little onion and the quality of this shirt if you love t-shirts just like me oh my god <laughs> if you love t-shirts just like me these the quality of the shirts are amazing like i don't even know how to explain it um i have another shirt of hers well actually have all her merch and no other shirt i have compares to the quality of this thing like tan will not give it up like he wears the shirt she gives me and that I buy because he loves it so much. So yeah, she gifted her merch to me and I am so thankful because look at this. Isn't it cute? And the color, can't go wrong with the color. Like look, it actually compliments my skin or makes me look naked a little bit, you know? So yeah, please, please, please go and shop shopbetterdrop.com. I will link everything down below if I could find it online. If I can't, then try to google it or I'll try to find something similar but this for sure y'all need to hop on it ASAP okay so I know y'all want to know where this robe came from I mean it was hanging on my chair when I started filming this so this is actually another gift that I received on my birthday sadly I got foundation on it I have to wash that ASAP have y'all known that you could just use uh, hydrogen peroxide with a little bit of dish soap and some water dab it on here put it in the washer like normal and it's gone how cool is that? Also, rinse after you put all that in. Like, let it sit for an hour and then it'll be gone. Poof, gone. Okay, so this maybe will be gone the next time I wear it. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that trick works. It works for all my other clothes, so I'm hoping it works for this. Anyway, this thing is so soft. This robe, I'm gonna show y'all my robe, okay? Can I, I'm gonna do a runway. Hold on. Let me This robe is amazing. 
Look at this. When it's cold outside, I'll be like, yes. Someone's ringing my doorbell, I'll be like, yes. Um, now Mr. Lee is in here. <laughs> Just kidding, that is not how I ring the doorbell and I do not look like this when I open the door. Or, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. The room isn't the only thing she bought me. She also bought me this mug. How cute, look. This is dog mom, cause I'm a dog mom. <laughs> I don't plan on having kids anytime soon until, you know, <laughs> I would like to get married I mean I have a ring on my finger but it's kind of getting hot and needs to be iced down with like an actual ring like an engagement ring or something <laughs> sorry I just came down with the <laughs> cold <laughs> anyway um, when I opened this so I've opened all my presents already I just wanted to like I haven't fully opened it because I wanted to show y'all so I actually teared up when I saw this because it's pink it says dog and sky is my baby and look it comes with a little keychain that says home where is where my dog is love has four paws stay positive positive like get it like a paw <laughs> and all you need is love and a dog that is so true and dog cuddler sky doesn't like cuddling but you know i would like to tell people that she does she doesn't like to be touched unless she wants you to touch her and Karen knows I love my candles because what girl doesn't love candles? I mean, if you don't like candles, it's fine, but I love candles. And she got me this candle. It says Awaken. It is um, three layers. So it has blue sage, fresh eucalyptus, and verdant wild greens. It says spiritual supply on it. And it smells very good. Like, I feel like I'm calm now because I have anxiety 24-7 and that sucks. <laughs> So thank you so much Karen for my presence. I really appreciate you and love you If you're watching this, I don't know if you're gonna watch this or not So my next present was from my bestie slash brother. He got me These Nike dunks. Look how cute. They're pink <laughs> They're pink How cute. Sorry to wear them. Okay, like you can't stop me like They're pink hello pink like <laughs> i did ask him to enter the raffle for me on the sneakers app and because i wanted to win i asked everyone to enter it for me because i wear kid size so he hit it and he was like happy birthday and i was like you first you won second for me <laughs> like thank you i was totally expecting to pay him back but he gifted me them instead so thank you ali i really really love these they kind of bigger than my face. A little bigger than my face. I have small feet though, so. Maybe just a big head. Next present is from my baby cousin Shelly and her boyfriend Alex. He's like a brother to me, so thank you to you two so much for taking the time to give me a present. She got me, or they got me, I'm just gonna say she, she, cause it's more like her taste to give to me. <laughs> so she got me this um, Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint. I didn't get to use this. Tan actually uses all my lotions, believe it or not. So if y'all ever see him, he smells very girly. It's all my lotions. That is why I need to re-up on a half of them. But it smells so good. I love peppermint. I know a lot of people don't. Like, I really love the smell. Eucalyptus, peppermint, such like that. And I love eating peppermint, so it makes sense. But this here smells wonderful, especially just in time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite holiday now. Used to not be, but now it is. She also got me a pair of lashes. So lately I've been rocking the natural lash look. Like, how do y'all, how do y'all feel about it? It's okay, be honest. I barely have any lashes, but they've grown a lot since I last grew my lashes, okay? Like, before, early this year, I had no lashes. It would not curl like this, but now I've used a lash serum and it's grown so much. Except I'm a little bald right here because it kind of fell out. But so far, so good. So Shelly got me these lashes. They are House of Lashes Sephora collection. Look how wispy they are. They are so cute. I love them. Thank you, Shelly. She just knows me so well. Wispy all the way. So she also got me this Sephora favorites or beauty must-haves. Thank you, Shelly. Uh, as y'all know, I don't really buy that many beauty products and I don't really use high-end stuff. I use drugstore mainly. And the fact that she even took the time to buy me this just means so much to me. Thank you so much for thinking about me. Let's open it and see. It's so cute. Look at that. Oop. 
they're all minis i love minis look at this so it has a beauty blender here a lash serum natasha dodona palette oh my god some nars some lippy some lashes like conditioner oh i'm ready to try this out so shelly also got me this makeup remover i actually used it right when i got home look oh the bottom even comes off because I mean, I already used it. I didn't, I mean, I opened some of my presents, right? I could do that. It's not a crime. I just wanted to show y'all what I got. So, uh, the cream shop, she put me on these wipes. I know some people don't use, uh, facial wipes, but this is what works for me. And she wrote me such, so I've already opened this note, but she wrote me such a heartwarming letter. Like, I cried the first time I read it and thinking about it makes me want to cry too. Like just thinking about all the people that love me means so much to me and <sighs> don't want to cry on camera but um i never really had a great birthday growing up and um before tan it wasn't the greatest like i had some celebrations not every birthday was bad but i never really looked forward to my birthday or christmas because i never really received anything growing up growing up very poor not everything came to me there was always a favorite in the family and i was a black sheep let's just say that i'm not gonna go more into details but um now that i'm an adult i've been able to find better people in my life and reconnect with old family members like shelly um so it just means so much to me that people actually take the time to write heartwarming notes to me um that's my favorite i don't i don't actually care for all these materialistic items or like beauty products and all these other stuff all i want is a note like how people feel about me like that's what that's what i like that's what my love language the words of affirmation is my love language and when people take the time to write me a beautiful card that's what i really like <laughs> it makes me happy that's all i ever want from people so um yeah shelly's note was very very heartwarming Thank you again, Shelly and Alex. <laughs> Love y'all. Okay, let's stop these waterworks, okay? Because um, because we got some other presents to film, okay? Woo! Like Fergie said, big girls don't cry, but I cry all the time, so. Yes, I'm not really a big girl. <laughs> Moving on. I have a really good friend. Her name is Sierra. We've been friends for so long. Like, I met her in high school by stalking her after a dance class one time it was, it was so weird i don't know i just saw like another asian girl and i was like she has really long hair and i just like would stare and i don't know why it was right for me to stare like, i don't even know why i stared i should have just been like hey my name is Estelle. like what's your name but i was just so socially awkward back in high school it wasn't my best times like it was a horrible time for me but then like after she graduated i think we started recon like not reconnecting we started to connect and we've just been friends since like she's She's like a sister to me. Even when, like one of my first jobs was with her and we used to eat McDonald's together all the time. <laughs> like McChickens, uh, chicken nuggets. Can't forget the chicken nuggets on our lunch breaks. And we just never got tired of each other. We were together seven days out of the week. Now I barely get to see her because we both are adults. And the fact that she came to my birthday after not seeing her for so long means so much to me. She actually bought me a so Ulta gift card. I was about to say Sephora because of the last one, but she bought me an Ulta gift card and knowing me she knows that i'm still using the palette she gave me like years ago <laughs> and all my palettes are from her and she just keeps she keeps adding on to it <laughs> it doesn't end there though she also got me these socks i love socks look at how fuzzy these are okay i um i'm pretty sure y'all gotta catch tan wearing this when it gets colder and i'm just gonna have to show y'all like i'm gonna take a picture and post on my instagram or something but it has these little stoppies on the bottom and I love it because my feet are always so cold. Thank you. So her and I always talk about beauty products, right? So it just makes sense to like, you know, to buy me beauty products and whatnot. So tell me why she got me a painless hair removal. Like I know I have a mustache. Like who doesn't? I mean, if you don't have it, then congrats to you. But I grow a mustache sometimes. Like sometimes I try to hide it, stay a little bit further away from the camera. But it's there. It's there and it's there to stay unless I wax it or I pluck it, okay? So for her to buy me this, I laughed. It's funny because I was talking about my mustache. So <laughs> maybe this is a sign that I don't need to have a mustache anymore. But thank you. I definitely need this. Thanks for thinking about me and my mustache and my chin hair. And she knows... 
I have bags, dark circles for staying up so late. Well, actually, I sleep at nine now, but before I was always staying up late. But you can never go wrong with beauty products as far as skincare. Skincare is awesome. Like, take care of your skin keep it hydrated i actually have a pimple growing right here i don't think y'all could see i try to hide it but i have a pimple growing there i don't know what's from i think it's from maybe i didn't remove my makeup all the way but it's there it's there to stay for a little bit she also got me this pure wonder bath and body works um fake fragrance mist can't talk right now but look pure wonder so we were actually at the mall this past weekend and we went to go to the Bath and Body Works sale that they were having for the candles. And I was wondering what this scent was. And it smells so good. Like this right here. It smells like a little bit um, like the Chanel Chance, the pink bottle. It's so, it smells very, very similar actually. So if you were looking for a cheaper alternative, I would say this would be it. I love my Chanel um, perfume. It smells amazing. So if y'all don't want to pay all that money for it, then this is a very, very great alternative. Sierra knows I have some crusty lips, so she got me some lip balm. They're not crusty right now, hopefully, because I tried to make it not crusty on camera, but <laughs> this will come in handy for the winter. And be sure to drink y'all's water because you need it to not have crusty lips. Just saying. Stay hydrated. And she also got me this makeup cup. How cute is this? It says you got this. A motivational cup. To help me get by through the day when I'm doing my makeup. Once a week. Maybe once a month. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Sierra also got me this keychain. Like, how cute is this? It says, my head says gym. She knows I'm always at the gym. But my heart says tacos. I love tacos. It's been a while since I had some. But I really love me some tacos. And last but not least, like I said, I really love heartwarming gifts. And heartwarming letters. And she said to me... To the baddest baddie from the other baddest baddie. <laughs> we've been friends for so long, so it's like it's amazing how how much we've grown and I'm just I'm just so proud of the person she's become. Thank you, Sierra. I love you. So my girl Linda, she always puts me on the best products. Like when I say the best products, I'm talking about skincare. I'm talking about your body. I'm talking about your face. She put me on Summer Fridays, okay? And I've been obsessed since. Like, she gave me some masks last year for my birthday. I still use it. Like, I'm too scared to use it up because it it works so well. My skin literally glows when I use it. So this year, she got me some Fenty Skin Butter Drop. Okay, it says Butter Drop on here. It's Whipped Oil Body Cream. So we opened this during dinner and passed it around <laughs> to smell it. It smells wonderful. And look at the packaging. <clears throat> You could tell Tan closed it because that was hard to open. Ooh, smells good. So Tan uses this. Tan uses a lot of my stuff, okay? Um, again, if y'all smell him, he'll smell like me. <laughs> Mine is the perfume. He uses his cologne. But this right here is bomb. Like, I've used it on my elbow so far because who doesn't like ashy elbows during the winter time or at all? And my knees. Very good for the knees. Thank you, Linda. This is so great. And last but not least, um, Tan knows. So I don't ask for anything anyways. Like whenever someone asks me, what do you want for your birthday? What do you want for this, that, that? My answer is always a thoughtful card. So Tan asked me what I wanted for my birthday this year. And every year he always goes above and beyond for my birthday. He makes sure that I'm loved. And he makes me sure I'm loved every single day. He asked me what I wanted and I said to him, I just want him to write me a card of how he feels. Guys aren't really great at telling you how they feel, like verbally. They want to show you and everybody has a different love language. I get it. Like his was receiving gifts, but now it's quality time because I kind of overdid it the first year we started dating. I like gave him a gift for like every small little reason just for some of them was just because because I'd be at TJ Maxx and I'm like, that's a nice shirt we would look good in it so i'd buy it well for more the sake of me because i like t-shirts right so this year i asked him to write his feeling down in a card he doesn't do it often so it means a lot to me that he actually took the time to and he wrote estelle is that a sign for something in the future maybe because <laughs> my last name right now is this long so if we get married or when we get married i'm adding or i'm hyphenating the lee so it'd be galnacon hyphen lee 
So it's still, it would be Estelle Lee, but I would hyphenate my last name just because I'm the only child in my family that has that last name and my dad has no one else that has that last name. So yeah, if you're a Laotian, you would understand. <laughs> Should I read it to y'all? He got a card that said, to my smart, strong, giving, and loving, beautiful wife. We're not even married or engaged, but he already called me wife. It's a sign, right? So I'm gonna leave some of the stuff out so he said, happy birthday, Estelle Lee. I love you. I love you more than anything in this world. I cannot wait to build a house with you and start our family. I love you, my wifey. I've been saying that a lot, so I might make it a reality soon. <laughs> also, since you are no longer banned from Lululemon, here's a gift card. Happy birthday. Uh, he also got me a Lululemon gift card. Um, the reason why he banned me, and uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh my god, your man should never ban you from stuff like that. So I went overboard. Every time I would go to a Lululemon, whether it be the outlet or regular, I would spend over $200 on who knows what. Like, I have so many leggings, and I rotate between the same seven colors every freaking week. Like, I don't even use the other ones. So it's a kind of a waste, I know, but their leggings are just so amazing. Like, I love the quality. It doesn't rip on me. I could do anything in it. I could just go to run errands. I could go to the gym. I could run or literally go running with it. It's great. Like... So uh, I kept I kept buying and buying and buying, and then Tan was just like, "This gotta stop." Like I have so many Lululemon the bags, you know, and he's just like, "Another one, another one." And I used to go like five days a week, so I get it. The band definitely needs to be put on me so that I could be more in control versus going crazy. So I didn't go to Lululemon from September. Actually, I went for October for my best friend's birthday. Just for her, though. I didn't buy anything for myself. But So we're not going to count that because I didn't buy anything for myself. So we're going to say I didn't go from September all the way till now. That's a pretty good... That's pretty good so far, I want to say. Like, I had some self-control in that aspect, okay? But not coffee. I still go get coffee, which I need to go get some coffee today. Should I? The answer is always yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. So... Thank you, baby. Like, when I first read it, I just cried my eyes out. And now I am done crying because I cried about everyone else's letters already. And I just want to say, baby, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me in all my years of living. So thank you for coming into my life and for loving me for me. I guess, oh, I totally forgot one more. I got this candle. Champagne toast is my favorite. Um... I think Sierra got this for me or Shelly. I want to say it was Sierra that got me this candle. Or it could be Shelly. One of them got me this candle, I'm not sure. Because I kind of put all the presents in one bag and tried to remember who gave me what. But I should have been more careful because I knew I was going to film this and I just went over. Anyway, so I got this candle as well for my birthday and she is so cute. Thank you so much again. I just wanted to take the time to say thank you to everyone that wished me a happy birthday, sent me a text. Um, it means so much to me to feel loved every single year and I just hope that if you are ever in a dark spot out there, anybody, um, there's always going to be at least one person that loves you and the people that love you should hold dearly. It doesn't matter about how many friends you have. It matters the quality and I'm just so blessed to have such amazing people in my life and to be able to get wished a happy birthday from so many people, even if it's strangers, acquaintances. It means a lot. So thank you again, everybody, for taking the time to watch my video, to wish me a happy birthday, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye! Y'all, I can't believe I almost forgot the most important gift. I hung it in my office, okay? This is from my niece, Elena. She wrote all this for me, drew all the colors. And she even wrote, Elena, I love you. I love you. Happy birthday. Isn't that so sweet? She is so sweet. And look at that. Okay, an artist in the house. Thank you. This is such a beautiful present. I love you, baby.